Today, I think I'm gonna talk about my job and two-year colleges. So, as you might have guessed from my you know, channel name, I'm a mechanic. Who would have thought, show me mechanics a mechanic? Woohoo! And now, no, I'm not a motorcycle mechanic. I am a diesel truck mechanic. Which means I work on diesel engines in, you know, tractor trailers or semi trucks. Trucks, as people call them. So, that's what I do. And I really do like my job. I bitch about it, but who doesn't bitch about their job? I mean, it's just everybody bitches about their job. Period. And the thing I like about my job is, you know, I go to work and A, I'm working with my hands which I have to. I can't sit behind a desk. I can't sit at a computer for more than 15 minutes without going, okay, fuck this. And the second thing I like is that when I go home at the end of the day, I feel like I've actually done something. You know, I can, at the end of the day, I can look at the truck I was working on and go, yeah, I made some fucking progress today. Now, granted, I've always wanted to be a mechanic. I mean, both of my grandpas were mechanics, and I've always had an interest in engines and, you know, loud fast cars and loud fast motorcycles and I never I never took an interest in farm equipment though that's the thing farm equipment construction equipment screw that I'm still not even interested in that shit yeah they're big but they're slow it has to at least go 60 miles an hour for me to even show an interest in it Let me tell you the other reason why I chose my career. And that is the simple fact that unlike a lot of the people that go to these big fancy four-year colleges, I found a job before I even graduated. That's fucking fascinating, Chubby. How the fuck did you do that? Well, you see, I went into a career that is in demand. And most careers taught at Votech and community colleges are in demand. Because nobody wants to actually fucking work these days. It's... People have gotten fucking lazy. And that's the sad truth. I mean... And... I've been... to bars around these four-year colleges. And it's stupid. Because people, you know, I'll get to talking to people and they'll be like, Oh, what, what's your major? I'll say, well, I don't have one anymore. I graduated, and I am a mechanic. And it is like, it's almost like some of them look down on me. It's like, you know what? Fuck you. You know why? Because I didn't spend near as much money, and I had a job waiting for me after graduation. that I went to school for. And some of these people, they can't even, they, some people make up their own fucking degree. 
like, okay, for an example, you're going to school for a major in astrophysics and a minor in women's studies. What the fuck do you do with that when you're done? Go to a trade school. Learn a fucking trade. Make this... Go for a job that ac actually fucking exists. Help build this country up instead of going, Oh, this sounds fucking cool. I think I'm gonna do this. And then go, oh shit, there's not even a job for this. And then you end up flipping burgers. No, go to a trade school, learn to weld, learn to turn wrenches, learn to fucking machine parts. Learn, there's so many different things you can learn at a trade school. Like Lake Area Tech, where I went. I don't know how many different fucking programs there are. There's so many. And they're all in demand. It's just stupid why people go for to learn about things that aren't even there or aren't even in a demand where, you know, maybe a quarter of the class will get hired for that job. You know? Just go to school for something that is in demand. Uh, here's a fun little story for you. I, I won't use any names or references, but I once knew a guy who, he wanted to go to school, or he didn't want to go to school for engineering, but his parents had pretty much forced him into going to school for engineering. And he didn't want that. He wanted, you know, he, he was enrolled in an automotive engineering class. Or whatever. And he really didn't want that. He wanted to work on them. And I, you know, heard about it and I just made a suggestion. I'm like, you know, if you want to be an engineer, you should... Uh, fucking livestock hauler. If you want to design them, you should really learn how to work on them. Go to a trade school, learn how to fix them, and then you know, work on them for two years. That's all it takes. And then become an engineer. Because you're going to realize how stupid the engineers that are out there are now and how impossibly difficult they make it to work on shit. So you're just going to be a better engineer. And he's like, well, I really don't even want to be an engineer. I just want to turn wrenches. I'm like, so why are you going to be an engineer? He said, you know, his parents were making him. So I just looked him dead in the eye with his mom sitting right next to him and I said, fuck that. Do what you want to do. What do your parents know? How, how do they know what's going to make you happy? You know what? Your parents might want you to do one thing, but if you want to do another thing, Screw what your parents want. Do your own thing. You know? If even you know if they're gonna pay for you to go for four to six years of college, but they won't pay for two years because they look down on it or whatever, fuck them. You know, community colleges are cheap. Votex are cheap. You're going to spend less money and come out better in the end. And needless to say, he took my advice. He went for automotive mechanics. And he loves his job. He absolutely loves it. So it... it 
that's one thing. To you people out there watching this that haven't graduated yet or whatever, if you want to go to a two-year, if you want to learn a trade, but your parents are forcing you into a four-year, tell them you don't care if they pay for it or not. You'll pay for it yourself. You gotta do your own thing. Because in the end, only you know what makes you happy. Your parents, yeah, they raised you. They should know you. But a lot of times, your parents don't know you as well as they think they do. So you just gotta go, okay, hey, that's not what I want. This is what I want. And if you don't like it, well, whatever. Screw you. I probably wouldn't say screw you to my parents. But just go, well, you know what? That kind of sucks, but that's what I'm going to do. I'm sorry to get long-winded. It's just, that's a topic that, and something that just really, really bothers me. You know, our our current president, you know, his campaign platform was make America great again. Well, yeah, that's cool, but a president can't really make America great again. Only the citizens can. And if the citizens aren't willing to work and get their hands dirty, well, we're just going to keep declining until, you know, we're nothing. Without people willing to actually get off their fucking ass, get their hands dirty, and do some real work, this country will never be great again. And until that day, we're going to continually decline. Like always, hit that like button down underneath the video. Click that subscribe button and check out my other videos. Later!